Bethany. I'm an aquarist here at the Greater Cleveland Aquarium and today I want to tell you a little bit about the sea urchins in our invertebrate touch tank. So as you can see right here these two guys look pretty different but they are both sea urchins. This is our pincushion urchin also known as a variegated sea urchin because they do come in a more purple variety and a more green variety. This guy here is our slate pencil sea urchin. And there are several different kinds of pencil sea urchins, but we only have the one here. So on our pencil sea urchins, they have these thick, heavy duty spines. They can use those to walk around a little bit like stilts. And they can also crawl into crevices and use those to lock them in place so that they can safely rest throughout the day and then come out in the evenings. So if you touch them, you'll notice that they tend to move their spines towards where you're touching to help add a little bit of extra protection to that space. Our pincushion urchins do things a little bit differently. They have long skinny tube feet that they use as their primary means of locomotion and holding themselves in place. So they hold on to big rocks that can't move very well, and they also hold on to shells like these mussel shells in order to help uh, change their shape and help prevent them from rocking and rolling in the surf. It also helps shield them from excessive sunlight. One of the other differences between our urchins is what they eat in the wild. The pincushion urchins prefer to eat sea grasses and the pencil urchins prefer to eat things more like sponges and corals. One of the really interesting things I think about sea urchins is that they are an invertebrate with an internal skeleton. So vertebrate means that they have a spine, which these guys obviously don't. But most invertebrates have an exoskeleton, like a shrimp with a shell on the outside or no skeleton at all, like your friendly neighborhood earthworm. But these guys do have this skeleton. It is uh, mostly calcium based, just like yours. And it surrounds all of their organs, just like your ribs do. Their mouth is on the bottom and their waists come out the top. Uh, some of the other animals you'll see in here include our cleaner shrimp. Uh, they hang out. You can tell that they are cleaner shrimp by those long white antenna. They use that to advertise their services on a reef. Uh, and you may also see some sea stars. This is our tiger cowrie snail. They are considered one of the more beautiful snails because of that dappled and smooth shiny shell. 